Hello, I'm Kimberly, and welcome to the weekend edition of the NAVE News Update. It's Friday, July 24th. Many of the stories you hear here can be found at IndianCountryNews.com. And here's the news for the day from the Associated Press and other Native news sources. The Hopi Tribe has joined environmental groups in seeking a designation of the Walnut Canyon National Conservation Area as a way of protecting land bordering Walnut Canyon National Monument. The designation would protect the area from housing development but allow continued access to the public for recreation such as hiking and bicycling. It would also provide protection of tribal archaeological sites. Friends of Flagstaff, Sierra Club, and Northern Arizona Audubon are other groups supporting the proposed designation. The Comanche Nation is asking for help to save a house in Cache, Oklahoma that belonged to Kwana Parker, the last Comanche chief. It has been a year since anyone has been allowed to enter the Kwana Parker Star House due to safety concerns. Tribal members say the house was further damaged following the flooding in May. The home was built around 1890 on Fort Sill, but was moved to Cache in 1958 where it now sits. Neither the family nor the Comanche Nation owns the Star House. It is held by a private owner who is unable to afford the repairs. The Comanche Nation is currently working to create a nonprofit group for the Star House, but says it's still in its infancy stages. In the meantime, Quantum Parker's family is asking for donations, large or small, so they can save the house before it's too far gone. With the help of a $15,000 grant given to fund historical preservation, the tribe was able to hire an engineer to come out and look at the house. However, there is no official word on how much the repairs will cost. If you'd like to make a donation, it can be made over the phone to the Comanche Nation at 580-492-3240. The Fond du Lac Band of Lake Superior Chippewa is getting $6 million in federal grants to expand broadband internet service on its northeastern Minnesota reservation. The Fond du Lac tribal government will contribute over $2 million to the project aimed at making high-speed services available to all homes on the reservation, which currently has DSL service only in a limited area. The USDA has awarded more than $77 million in grants and over $6 billion in loans since 2009 for rural broadband, bringing new or better access to more than 1.5 million subscribers. The Chickasaw Nation is celebrating five years of sharing the tribe's culture and tradition at the Chickasaw Cultural Center. More than 365,000 guests from around the world have experienced the story of the Oklahoma-based Chickasaw Nation. The Chickasaw Cultural Center's 109-acre campus has hosted international guests as well as local schools' children. More than 39,000 visitors have experienced the exhibit entitled Dugout Canoes, Paddling Through the Americas. The exhibit, which is open until September 27th, features American dugouts from ancient times to the present, including a 400-year-old pine dugout canoe and paddle, as well as ancient dugouts found in Florida Lake. Last year, 43-year-old Drew Chake was homeless, beating bracelets to sell to tourists in Toja Gile, New Mexico. This year, she is one of three Native American artisans beating luxury bracelets for a newly launched jewelry and social enterprise called Etki, which brings marketing, sales, and financial resources to talented but often underemployed female beaters across New Mexico. Stocked in high-end boutiques like Collet in Paris and El Kami Works in Los Angeles, each Etki piece, priced between $168 and $595, can take up to eight hours to make. With an estimated 30% of American Indians identifying as practicing artists and one in four living below the poverty line, Etki is the first jewelry brand to bring their specialized skills to the mass market. For more information, you can check out etki.com. That's another roundup of news from Indian Country on this edition of the Nave News Update. I'd like to thank you for joining me and have a grand day.